Meanwhile, Oneida County has released guidelines for high schools to play high-risk sports. The county says high-risk sports will be allowed only after each school forms a plan for each high-risk sport and submits it to the county. Then the county will review the plans based on two things, their ability to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and respond to a situation where someone does get the virus. Many of the guidelines are similar to other COVID-19 protocols as far as keeping distance when possible, wearing masks at all times and avoiding sharing equipment. Coaches of high risk sports are required to get tested for the virus every 14 days, and it's actually only recommended that the student athletes do as well. Practice and game times for the teams should be staggered. Schools must take attendance of everyone involved in practices and games, and that includes referees and spectators. They have to get each person's name, phone number, and email address written down. And schools must get medical clearance from each student athlete's medical provider. And parents or guardians of every student athlete must sign a consent form stating that they understand all the guidelines and that ultimately the responsibility of deciding if a student should participate or not is on them. For the full sets of guidelines, because there is plenty more, be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com.